Question three we have binomial distribution. So Nasir is playing a game with two friends. And uh, the game is designed to be a game of chance. So that the probability of Nasir winning is one third. Nasir and his friends play the game 15 times. But a one says to work out. Uh, the probability that Nasir wins, first of all, exactly two times, and then more than five times. So, first of all, we need to set up the distribution. So, let x be the number of wins. Then, x has a binomial distribution. How do we know it's binomial? Because it can either win or lose. That's a, um, that's something with two outcomes, lose or win, so it's binomial. Now the binomial distribution has, first of all, n, the number of trials, so here n is 15 and then p probability so the probability of him winning is one third so that's our distribution so a part one wants the probability that x is equal to two now our calculators can do this, so I've got a Casio Classways on mine, I would first of all press mode or menu and 7 for distribution and now we want an exact value, uh, so we want binomial PD and then we want variable and we put in N is 15, P is a third, and X is 2. So that's going to give us 0 0.059923 three significant figures. Okay, then part 2. Once um, the probability that he wins more than five games. So, part two, we want the probability that x is greater than five. Now again, our calculators can do this for us. This time we want c, d, and they always work out the probability that x is less than or equal to a number. So if we want the probability x is greater than 5, we need to do uh, 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 5. So now we want binomial CD, which stands for cumulative distribution. So that means it adds up all the probabilities for the values of x up to the one that we want. So go to binomial CD, put in x is equal to um, 5, and we're going to get 1 minus. 0 0.618 So that's going to give us uh, 0 0.382 Cool Okay, then for part B Nasir claims he has a method to help him win more than one third of the time uh, to test his claim, the three of them played the game again 32 times and Nasir won 16 of these games. 
stating your hypotheses clearly, uh, test the seer's claim at the 5% level of significance. So a nice hypothesis test. So, let x again be the number be the number of wins Okay, so we need two hypotheses. We need the null hypothesis, H0, and we need the alternative hypothesis, H1. So, H0 is always the one where we set the probability equal to a number, to a probability. So, H0 is that the probability stays at one third. H1 is that the probability is greater than one third. Now, under the null hypothesis, X has a binomial distribution. Now, N is going to be 32. And the probability is one third. Now, Nasir has won 16 of these games. So what we want to do is work out the probability that he would win 16 or more games if um well no that's what we want to work out so what we're seeing is whether or not that is more or less likely than five percent with the probability being set still at one third if it's more likely than five percent then we Accept H0, the null hypothesis. If it's less than 5% likely, we reject H0 and accept H1. So we want the probability that X is greater than or equal to 16, which is 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 15. Now if we again use our calculators, we want binomial cd again, and we're going to get uh, 1 minus 0 0.962, which is going to give us um, 0 0.038 Now 0 0.038 is 3.8% Now 3.8% is less than 5% So we reject H0 because it's less than 5% likely if the probability was a third it's less than 5% likely he would win 16 or more games so we reject H0 except H1 and then we should finish off with a closing statement saying there is Um, evidence to support his claim. Cool.